Hey guys, welcome to another video on the Movie Vault. This is my holiday haul. Last night, I just flew home from Vienna in Austria. I have some books, some vinyl, and some 4K. Let's talk about my holiday haul. Hey everyone, great to see you here on the channel. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing, hitting the little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That's the number one way to support the channel. Drop a comment down below. Let's talk more about film. Okay, so last night flew home from my holiday in Vienna, Austria. As I mentioned, I have a bunch of pickups I wanna to talk to you about. The first thing I picked up was, this is a book about John Carpenter's Escape from New York. There it is there, guys. It's a really nice hardcover book. Um, it features some uh, amazing, uh, there's poster stuff there, just like behind the scenes pictures. There is pictures I've never seen uh, before Dean Cundy, John Carpenter behind the scenes, filming. There is some really, really great stuff in the book here. Um, as I mentioned in German, can't read it, but there's some shots from the movie. There's um, an advertisement for the 4K from Studio Canal. So this book must have came out a few years ago, um, but this is really, really cool. And you guys know, I love John Carpenter cannot say no to something like this so um, I can't recall how much this was maybe around 30 euro something like that but this was the first pickup a lot of really cool vinyl guys we went to maybe three or four different record shops I got some cool stuff this one was a record store day Black Friday um, marble orange vinyl uh, new art direction and notes deluxe edition 2 LP set of John Carpenter's Village of the Damned soundtrack. Sorry, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see this um, with the, cause the window is here and then I have a light here, but uh, basically this is it. Deluxe double vinyl LP, 19 euro, 90 cents. So 20 euro, brilliant stuff. Never had it in the collection. And I'm looking forward to listening to this one um, on the stereo behind me. That's why we're here today. Different setup guys. And um, because I have some music that I want to talk about today. So this was the first vinyl pickup. In the same shop, um, I picked up for 27 euro, 90 cent. Um, Pearl Jam MTV Unplugged. I'm a big Pearl Jam fan. Uh, lots of stuff of Pearl Jam here behind me in the collection and I just never had MTV unplugged and um, I have all the studio albums now with Pearl Jam so I'm just looking for these kind of other live bits and pieces here and there so when I see them I grab them. I picked up this next one guys they had a small little record store day bin so this is a, a little 45 again 9 euro 90 only 10 euro Eddie Vedder long way so I don't know if this was an RSD kind of exclusive or what the story was it's just a single like two songs but um, found it in the bin don't have it and thought I will grab that for myself as well also within that shop they had some really really cool secondhand stuff and I picked up for four euro the single don't go by Yazoo if anybody's familiar with 80s synth pop and all that stuff uh, I love that stuff guys so um, four euro secondhand and um, nice condition four quid couldn't pass it up so in that shop on that day, I saw this and I was like, oh man, I've never seen this before. Will I buy this? Will I not? It's a little bit expensive compared to everything else. No, I'll leave it and then decided, oh, I really want it. I'm going to go back. So we went back again and it was 37.90. So it was 38 euro limited edition die cut gatefold vinyl 23 minute composition recorded live. This is play by Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters, so I was a big fan of Nirvana for years and then obviously followed into Foo Fighters, um, but this is really cool. Um, you know, you've probably seen the video of this on YouTube, but I never saw the vinyl of it and I thought, you know what, there's one there, I'm gonna grab it, and I did. So speaking of John Carpenter, we went to a shop called Media Market, which is basically electronics, TVs, fridges, cookers, you know, extension leads, uh, power cables, phones, CDs, vinyl, Blu-ray, 4K, DVD, like you name it, they sell it, Playstations, games, everything. So I saw for 23 euro, pretty cool bargain, John Carpenter Anthology 2, uh, black vinyl. Now I do have the blue vinyl, the blue, the thing vinyl pre-ordered on this, which I will get. Um, but sometimes I like with these ones to buy the, the regular old black vinyl as well. This is Movie Team 76 to 88, so basically it's they've re-recorded them in studio. Um, uh, some great stuff. Halloween Tree, Escape from New York, Big Trouble at China, Day Live, Assault of Precinct 13, 
Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Prince of Darkness, Halloween 2, The Thing, The Thing, The Thing, The Fog, and Halloween. Um, I really can't wait to listen to this, guys. Um, so I couldn't say no to another John Carpenter. While we were in Media Market, I saw this one again, 23 euro. This is Sable, the original video game soundtrack by Japanese Breakfast. It's a really cool video game soundtrack that I, we used to kind of play in Terra Records every so often and we really enjoyed it and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna grab this on vinyl. Uh, 23 quid wasn't gonna say no, so that was the next one. And last but not least, guys, we went to another record shop and probably what I would consider maybe the pickup of the vinyl stuff here. Um, really, really awesome. This was 29 euro. It's a record shop called Major Babies. This came out Record Store Day, I think, three years ago. I don't know if this is a repressing or what they've done here, but this is uh, DG's Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Not Satan, Satan. This is the Foo Fighters doing the Bee Gees songs. It, it was fantastic and I missed out on it when it originally came out and I got this for 29 euro. Um, so absolutely love it. Um, one of the highlights of the vinyl pickups on this holiday. So now we jump to 4K pickups. I got all 4Ks here, guys. Let me lift them down here. I got two steel books, a media book, and a regular version with a slip. So the first one up in media market, I got the 4K and Blu-ray limited edition two disc steel book of John Wick 4. Um, love it, I haven't seen it. I have the other three John Wicks on 4K, and I thought like this is a nice steel book here, guys. Um, I have not opened any of these yet, but this was 35 euro. So I thought, you know, a 35 is okay for a steelbook. I'll pay that. The card, the J card stuff here is all in German. The movie, you, ju you will just play the English Atmos mix or whatever on that. So that's kind of, that was the first one, John Wick chapter four. Next one, I thought, okay, 20 euro, 4K, Blu-ray, and a bonus disc with a slip cover. I think this movie has kind of, um, some people love it, some people hate it. So I kind of thought, okay, let me take a punt on this. Um, I'm trying to peel the sticker off because it seems to have two prices, but I got this for 20 euro, it's Babylon. As I said, the movie seems to divide people. People love it, people hate it. I don't know. Let's find out, 20 quid, couldn't say no. Media book up next, guys. Um, so I don't, I believe through my friends at Terror Records, this is not available over here for whatever reason. It's a collector's edition. Film book, media book, whatever you want to call it. It's a 4K and a Blu-ray disc, 30 euro, and um, Darren Aronofsky's The Whale. Um, I thought the cover art was really cool, kind of stood out to me in the shelves there. And um, once again, obviously the card is in German here, but you know, the movie will play in English. Just need to switch the audio track to English. Um, I ran this in work, I've heard it's quite good. I didn't see it. Um, but a media book, a 4K media book, no less, for 39 euro, was not gonna say no to this one. And last pickup, um, possibly another, maybe the bargain of bargains with the 4Ks here, guys. We have a 4K and a Blu-ray in a steel book for seven euro, 6.99. My girlfriend spotted this in the Major Babies uh, music shop. They had some movies in there. Um, I have not seen this movie. This is Bullet Train. Um, this is the steel book. It looks really, really cool. And there is the price, 6.99, like seven euro. Wasn't gonna leave a 4K steel book there for seven euro. So, and um, once again, we took a chance on this one. Let's see if it's any good. I don't know anything about the movie, so we'll see what we think, but uh, it should be good. Brad Pitt in Bullet Train. There you go, guys. That was my holiday haul from Vienna in Austria. As always, I would love for you guys to jump in the comments down below. Let me know uh, because I haven't seen I haven't seen any of those movies actually. So I always want to hear from you guys. Is there anything I should bump up ahead of the rest of them in the watch list that I should watch ahead of anything else? Music. Sometimes we don't talk about music here, guys, on the channel, other than the Carpenter stuff and the soundtrack. So jump in. Let me know what you think. Are you guys fans of Foo Fighters, Bee Gees, Nirvana, all that stuff? video game soundtracks, John Carpenter, you know, Pearl Jam, whatever. Jump in down below, let me know what you think. And that's gonna do it for this holiday haul video, guys. I will be back soon with another video. Stay safe as always, and I will talk to you on the next one. Pshhh.